Hello, this tutorial showcases how to do formal observations in Observation Studio. So first, go into Falcon World and Observation Studio. In the top menu bar in the middle, you'll notice that there is an option to select New. So select the New option. It'll bring you to a screen where you can start typing the staff member's name that you would like to do a formal observation on. Their name will begin to appear at the bottom and you just simply click on that. That starts the process for doing an email notification to the staff for the formal observation. So you will type in your email in the uh, text box underneath, underneath email notification to whoever you're observing. Make sure you do not, do not check the box that says check this box if the staff member will be doing a professional learning project because this is for a formal observation. And then finally click email. That will bring you to the dashboard. This will be at the very top of your observation studio. A couple new things to highlight here. Notice that there is now a trash can next to the person's name. If you accidentally start a formal observation that you no longer need, you can always delete it. So that's an option. You can know where you're at with the observation through the icon. So for instance, the first one shows the email notification went to the staff member. The next one says the staff member has not done their pre-observation questions because there's a red X next to it. If you wanna get started early, you can always click on the blue handshake and start the pre-observation meeting questions. I would probably hold off. Now, like I mentioned before, you always have that option to click the trash can to delete. If you do that, be very careful because it will delete that observation. And if you wanna do that, just simply click yes. It'll remove that person from your caseload, but be careful because this cannot be undone. This will be permanent. So as you're here, you'll notice that, that the person will eventually do their pre-observation questions. You'll get a little green check mark when they've done that. You'll get an email notification. Then you can go in and start to click on the blue handshake for the pre-observation meeting when you meet with them. You'll be greeted with this screen here. And you'll notice a couple different aspects to this particular screen. On the left-hand side are checkboxes for domains one and four. Check any of those domain components that you feel that the staff member has completed or illustrated during the answers or during the meeting. Whatever you check will show up on the final formal observation paper. If you don't check something, it won't show up. So you want to be, um, you want to fill in as much information as possible on this. So the less that you check and the less that you do here, the less that shows up on the paper, and it may not look like a very formal observation sheet. So be careful with that. Be very thorough. You'll also notice that down below you'll see domain whatever the answers are, and the note is the answers to the questions. This has been a request um, to upgrade for the observation studio for the formal observation. Whatever the staff member entered will show up on the formal observation. If there's something that you disagree with or you do not like, you can always go in and edit or you can delete. Again, this is just simply transform, transferring everything that the staff member wrote and answered on those questions and brought it into the pre-observation meeting notes. You can add your, uh, or excuse me, you can also see their lesson plan in the upper right hand corner. You'll see lesson plan document number one. If they uploaded multiple documents, then you'll see document two, three, four, whatever um, needs to be taken care of up there, all their formal documents. You can add more observation notes. When you do add the observation notes, you do have to select the domain that the note accomplishes, and then finally hit submit. After your meeting is completely finished, in the upper right-hand corner, you need to mark 
pre-observation meeting complete. Again, it's the gray button in the upper right. Once you've completed that, you'll notice now that you have a green check mark for pre-observation meeting and you're ready for the observation because now you have a blue eye. When you're ready to do the observation, you simply click on that blue eye. It asks you some information about the observation. It shows you the, the staff member's name. You'll notice you'll have to complete the subject, the observation date, the observation time, the anticipated lesson length, and the school year. This information is very critical. Whatever you enter here will show up on the final paper, the final document for the formal observation. And then when you're finished, just simply click Submit. This opens up your observation page. On the left-hand side, you'll notice, um, you'll notice the domain two and three. This is your observation domains. Whatever you observe, check mark. And remember, on the form, final document, whatever is checked will appear. If nothing is checked, then nothing will appear. Okay, it depends on how you feel the observation has gone. The other option down below domains two and three, you'll notice district initiatives. Check mark any district initiative that you feel was completed during this observation. The more you check, the more that will show up on the final document. If you don't check any of these, nothing will show up on the final document. Now, as you continue to go through this, you'll write your observation note in the text box. You'll select your domain and you'll hit submit. This will bring it down below and we'll start to put in, in order as you submit each one of your observations. At any time, you can click the edit button to correct anything, any misspellings or make a quick edit to a node or a domain. And if you feel like something didn't go quite right or you don't like that particular note, you can always delete them. Now, when your observation is finally complete, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a gray button that says Mark Observation Complete. You must click that to complete your observation. When you click that, you'll notice that now the observation has the green check mark. It's completed. You'll also notice that there's a red X over the post observation questions. That means that the teacher has not completed the post observation questions. You'll notice the teacher rubric is blank. They haven't completed the teacher rubric. But you'll notice that two other icons have appeared. The post observation notes has a blue handshake and the principal rubric is also has a blue notebook. The, this means that you can actually go in and select those and work ahead if you wish. If you don't, you can wait until the teacher finishes their pre -op or post observation questions. And when that happens, you'll notice there's a green check mark. Also notice that the uh, teacher rubric is red there. They haven't completed that. But when they do complete that, you'll notice that a green check mark will go in there. And if you want to wait till this point in time, now you can go into post observation notes. And when you go into that, what you'll notice is on the left, again, you have your observation components. If you check mark that, then it will go on the final document. If you don't, it won't appear. You'll also notice similar to the other screens, keeping it consistent. We have the text box, put in observation notes. Also, the domain, in this case, there's only one. This will vary depending on the staff's position. If the staff is a teacher, they'll get a, a certain type of question. If they're a counselor, they get a different type of question. It all, all depends on their position on the series of questions that they get and how we observe them. Once you do all of that, you'll be able to hit the submit. It'll show up down below, and again, you can edit these, you can delete these, um, and complete your post-observation notes. Once you're completely finished with this, in the upper right-hand corner, again, another gray button, Mark Post-Observation Meeting Complete. You click that, it brings you back out to your dashboard. You'll notice that now there's the green checkbox where the post-observation notes are, and now there's a blue notebook for the principal uh, rubric. 
you can go into the principal rubric. And this is where we have to be very, very careful. Wherever there's green, that's what the teacher has chosen. That's not what's going to show up on the final document. What shows up on the final document is what you select. What the principal selects shows up on the final document, not the teacher. The teacher is in green. The principal is in blue. So anytime you click on any item within the rubric, it will be blue. If you decide to click on the green box and you agree with the teacher, you select the same box as the teacher, that's okay. The blue was, will override the green and whatever is blue will show up on the uh, final document. Now, as you finish all of rubric one, you'll notice up at the top that there's a menu you have to work through domain two rubric, domain three rubric, domain four rubric, and you can get to those rubrics by using that top navigation, uh, top navigation menu. And the final one that you get to is performance information. Now this one is different. When you click on performance information, this is the overall status of your observation. Very, very critical to get this uh, correct. So when you're in your performance rating information, you have to complete the evaluation frequency. Is it semi-annual or annual, depending if it's uh, a new staff member um, or one that you're observing annually? Whatever you need, make sure you get the right frequency in there because it does code it to the, app, to the uh, staff member. Make sure you get their status, whether they have tenure or not, status one or status two, then you have to complete all of the strengths that the staff member has. Again, the more detailed you are in this particular screen, the better the final draft looks. The less you put in here, the worse that final document looks. And you have to complete it for the strengths, for the areas of growth, what the uh, teacher needs to do for their next steps, and then the performance rating is very, very crucial as well. Even though you marked out on uh, domain one rubric, domain two rubric, domain three rubric, domain four rubric, it doesn't average them together and give them the final score. You can still override all of those domains. So whatever you put in here is an override to all of the rubrics. So you have to do the overall performance level of the domain one, two, three, and four, and then the final overall performance level. Once you've completed this whole screen, click Submit. When you click Submit, it takes you out to your dashboard again. You'll notice that your principal rubric is completed, and you'll notice that now it requires a principal signature. When you click on the principal signature, this will give you a picture or a glance at the final document. And at the very bottom of that final document, you'll see this screenshot here, which will ask for your name. You will type in your name and then you will click submit. If there's anything on that final document that you do not like, you can go back and click any of those green checks and edit any of your work to improve that final document but you can go ahead and click submit and when you click submit uh, you'll notice the principal signature gets a green check mark now the uh, teacher signature will be red when the teacher signs it it turns to green and then your final final step is to click the uh, blue disk to save it to archive the file when you click the blue disk to save it and archive it you'll notice that now the person disappears because it's no longer an open formal observation. It is now an archived observation. To get back to see this archive observation at the very top menu, there's an option called archives. It'll take you to a familiar screen where you can start to type in the teacher's name and the teacher will appear down below and you click on their name. When you click on their name, it'll bring up their archives. You'll be able to see any formal observation, any professional development projects that they've done, 
and you just click whichever item that you want to see. And when you click on that item, it'll give you that particular document. If you have any questions about Observation Studio and formal observations, please reach out to Technology Services. Thank you.